Okay, so let's start by having you introduce yourself. My name is Steve Ellis. I work out at Anytime Fitness in Hartford, Wisconsin. Okay, perfect. So what kind of experience do you have with fitness while you were younger? I was in track, football, wrestling, um, swimming, basketball, football, all kinds of sports. What was your favorite sport? Track. What did you do in track? I ran a 400 meter dash, the 800 shot put, and uh, I don't know, fighting part. All right, great. So, what kind of experience do you have with exercise after high school? Um, I was training with the guy that was up, up and running, Mr. Universe, whatever, I guess. Uh, I was one of my 20s. I was training with him for quite a while. Okay. So what happened after you were training with him? Uh, that was uh, the destructive part of my life when I was doing drugs and drinking and just cared about partying and stuff like that. Okay. Um, when was the moment that you decided you needed to make a change? Um, when my father passed away. Okay. How did that impact you? Um, put me in a dark place for a while, but I wanted to start taking care of myself so I could be there to take care of my, my family. Okay. And you mentioned before that some health conditions run in your family. Yeah. I have, uh, on both my biological mom and dad, they both uh, had heart issues and uh, diabetic. Okay. So is that a pretty big factor in you wanting to make some changes? Yes. I had uh, two heart attacks here at any time for this. Okay. You want to tell us a little bit about those experiences? Um, the first one I really didn't know. I was on the treadmill and my heart rate got up over 200. So I relaxed myself down. And I think it was a couple of days later I got a stress test done and that's where they found it. Um, blockage, so I had three stents. Um, my second one was in March of this year. I think it was the first week of March. Um, during my training session. Okay. And what happened? Um, I was training with my wonderful trainer, Alexa Campy. Um, and I felt a lump inside my throat, and I thought it was just heartburn. But I started drinking water, and I was pretty much was like leaning on a type of machine, and that's where I knew that something was right, and that's where um, Alexa and everybody else went into action, so I could get the help that I needed. Okay. And what has your journey been like since your heart attack? Uh, frustrating at first because I couldn't do all the stuff that I normally could, but. But with uh, Alexa and everybody else and people in my family just encouraged me to take baby steps and I'll get back to where I was has been very helpful. Awesome. Um, how has your experience with any time impacted your life overall? Awesome. From day one. Uh, it, uh, it's not just, it's, it's a family type of atmosphere. Started day one with uh, um, Katie. She was the first person that uh, I went through, you know, initially starting, but I used to talk to her all the time, and I talked to, uh, then it was Lauren, and uh, now it's Alexa. <laughs> well, it's everybody, but yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as far as physical re results go, what have you seen for progress there? Well, I was in pain management for many years. And I was on uh, mass amounts of Vicodin, uh, muscle relaxers, um, and all kinds of other stuff, whatever. And uh, I pretty much quit cold turkey because my ex-wife, she was a uh, substance abuse counselor, she was also a recovering addict. And opiates were her drug of choice. So it was also a trigger for me to just say, I just quit a cold turkey and all I needed was core strengthening and it eliminated all my problems. 
So you're off of all of the medication now. That's exciting. Um, how has small group training benefited you? Oh, I like it because it's it's different, it's challenging, you get to meet new people. Um, some people I know encourage me and I encourage others. Um, it's just like a friendly atmosphere. Everybody just keep pushing each other, egging each other on. To, you can do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little friendly competition. Yeah, right. Yeah, just a little bit. Is it safe to say you've made some friendships with oh, people many. in your group? Yes. Two of my favorites, Cora and Katie. <laughs> Why are they your favorites? Oh, because they're my, they're my idols. I tell them all the time, whatever. They're just good-hearted people with good hearts, and they push you. They're very concerned, you know, and especially when I had my last heart attack. I said, uh, Alexa and uh, Katie, and they all sent me a picture or whatever, and that made me feel like a million bucks when I was in the hospital, so it's, like, pretty cool, you know? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, what is your typical workout routine like now, and what was it like before your heart attack? Before my heart attack, I was pretty vigorous and going at it pretty hard or whatever. Now it's just, just taking the baby steps at proper to get my um, breathing and everything else right so I can continue to get back to the point I was before or whatever. That's my goal. Okay. Um what kind of progress do you feel like you've made since you came back to the gym? Uh, tons, just just overall strength, you know, from the beginning, I could barely lift like 20 pound dumbbell, you know, but just taking the baby steps or whatever and encouraging it from everybody from home and everybody here has been, you know, helping me a lot or whatever that I can get to that point where I was before, I just gotta take the proper steps so I don't injure myself and do things correctly. Okay. Um, how would your life be different if you never got started with any time? I wouldn't be here. Plain and simple. I would. The doctors yeah. have told me, my cardiologist told me that if it wasn't for me doing what I was doing, there's no chance I would survive. Even with the action of everybody. So yeah. it's pretty impactful that I need to do it, you know, mm -hmm. be able to take care of other people, including myself, yeah. first and foremost, <laughs> yeah. And you mentioned your mom and grandma are two of the most important people for you. Yes. Because all the men in our uh, grew up, they all passed away, my father, my uncle, and my grandfather. It's up to us kids to be able to take care of the people that have always taken care of us. So that's what I strive to do, like, on a daily basis. My mom is like my best friend, not just my mom. Call me a mama's boy or whatever, and <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. And you did the six week challenge yeah. soon before you had your heart attack. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about your experience with that and the kind of results you've seen? Um, my experience was, was great. I, think, I believe I lost 14 or 15 pounds, um, but with that, I inspired like my mom and, and fellow core workers about uh, the health. You just you could lose the weight just by eating this food, you know, and just getting some sort of exercise or whatever. But you could literally lose the weight just eating the food in itself, whatever. So I encouraged and inspired other people just to try it and take the baby steps like I'm doing, you know. And eventually you'll get there, whatever. If you go full force at first, it's not going to happen because you'll give up, you know. You know, whatever. But I encourage people like you encourage. Mm -hmm. Do you think the habits that you've formed while doing the challenge helped you recover faster and is yeah. helping in that process? Absolutely. Like everything is like, because it keeps me focused on, you know, what my goal is or whatever. Stay healthy so I can be around and take care of my first, myself first and foremost, but uh, my mom and my sisters and my brother and stuff like that too, family and friends. Okay. Um, what advice would you give someone who's contemplating starting a fitness journey or starting a journey here at any time? Uh, I would say, yeah, definitely come to my gym in Hartford. It's, a, it's, it's, not, it's unlike any other gym. It's really, um, it's like family atmosphere. 
I said, all they had to do is just give it a chance, you know, baby steps, just take your foot in the door, go for like five minutes, 10 minutes and do something. And then the next time you come in, try to go a little bit more, you know, five more minutes or whatever. So you continuously keep coming in or whatever, and you'll see people calling up to you and just saying, hey, you know, good job, keep up the good work. I get it all the time, you know, and I had two heart attacks when people encourage me all the time, say, hey, you're doing good, keep it up. It's what keeps you going, you know, if you have somebody to just, and that's why you just place this. <laughs> How awesome are we? No, I'm just kidding. No, you guys are very awesome. So what made you, you were a member, um, you've been one since 2016, mm -hmm. and then you started training in 2018. Mm -hmm. What made you decide you needed some help? Um, There's a guy I was working with, uh, I call him the Jeffinator. <laughs> <laughs> he was, it wasn't like really structured, it is, uh, because he has kids, you know, so it wasn't like a structured time, whatever. With the training with the trainer in the small groups, it's like more structured. You get uh, different uh, ways of uh, going about working out or whatever. You learn the correct ways of like doing stuff so you don't injure yourself. Um, now I'm trying to blank because I'm on camera. Oh, That's okay. <laughs> so the structure and the guidance mm -hmm. was the main reason that you joined yeah okay because i needed to have somebody to like actually push me you know mm -hmm. and uh say no you can do more you know just push it i made me believe that i can do anything pretty much if you put your mind to it yeah just strong words of encouragement what's your favorite exercise besides burpees <laughs> my favorite <laughs> exercise would have to be uh Jeez. Just exercising in general is like great for me. Is any favorite one would get out of anything that pushes me and challenges me to do better. Okay. Like anything, like really. I don't have anything. Okay. Like favorite. It's all great. It's all great for me. Good. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh this is the hardest part. I just like to add, it's like everything from this place, whatever, and what they mean to me, whatever. It's, uh, my trainer or my trainer is like awesome, Alexa. Uh, she pushes me to my limits and beyond. I have been through a lot of stuff in my life, and especially with my heart attack. It's very hard to keep things focused in the way that I want. And if it truly wasn't, it has bought me on my part doing what I'm supposed to do, but if it wasn't for the actions of my trainer and everybody else, I wouldn't be here today. So when I say I owe them everything, I truly do. I would be there for any one of them, no matter what, if they need somebody to talk to or a helping hand, moving or whatever, I would do whatever I could. I can't get out in words as much as uh, what this place and the people that work here mean. Awesome. Well, thank you for your testimonial. Oh, you're welcome. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>